All right, so this ended up being 17, and that's x. And remember, the problem says we want the measure of knm. Knm is 8x minus 5. And we'll plug at 17 in for x. That's 136 minus 5. So angle K and M equals 131 degrees. All right, and last one. I know this was a lot, but I wanted to make sure you had an example of every kind. The last one is mixed. So we're going to have to really look through this picture and see what jumps out at us. There are a couple things that you might want to notice. First of all, we need to make sure when we're solving equations we have the same variable. So we wouldn't want to use this one with the y with these with the x to start. So I'm going to just highlight the ones with the x so I can look at their relationship. Those are right next to each other. They're adjacent and they form a straight line which means that they add up to 180 degrees. They are a linear pair. So we would do 5x minus 17 plus 3x minus 11 equals 180 degrees. Combine like terms. So that's 8x minus 28 equals 180. And add 28 to both sides. 8x equals 208. Divide both sides by 8. x equals 26. So now we have x, but we need to actually find what those angles equal in order to figure it out. I'm going to decide which one to, to plug it into by looking at my diagram. And right here, we have a straight line. And right here, we have a straight line. And let me color over those so you can see what I'm talking about. That's a straight line. And this is a straight line. A lot of people would like to say that this angle and this angle are vertical, but they're not actually formed by two lines crossing, so that won't work. But this one is vertical to this one right here, so we can actually use that to figure it out, or we can use the fact that these three angles will add up to 180. So I'm going to go with that way just because I feel like that might be a better example. So I'm going to plug in three times 26 minus 11. That's from this angle up here. So that's 78 minus 11. And 78 minus 11 is 67 degrees. So this angle is 67 degrees. What does that box mean? It means that this angle is 90 degrees. So, and these three angles together add up to 180 degrees because they're all together. So I'm going to write 2y plus 5 plus 90 plus 67 equals 180. Combine like terms. 2y plus 162 equals 180. Oops, you can't even see what I'm doing. Minus 162. So 2y equals 18. And 18 divided by 2 is 9. So y equals 9. And we could plug it in, but it doesn't say to do that. It just says find x and y. All right, I hope that helps.